Jennifer Wetzel. Hi, good evening. Um, I'm here um, kind of to speak about the CIP and long-term planning as a whole, as opposed to just career and tech. Um, first of all, I want to say that I acknowledge this is an extremely challenging time for board members in our school system. There are some colossal problems that need to be dealt with, and I certainly respect the willingness of our elected board to take on these challenges. Um, with this being said, it's difficult to support the CIP as a whole without understanding the big picture. There are two, as we spoke of, large projects on the CIP, also coupled with budget restraints, as we all know. Um, and I'm not exactly sure how I could submit feedback about what's best for our school system without a lot of additional information. For example, how do we determine where we should invest in systemic replacements or modernizations if we may be closing additional schools? Or how do we determine how much to invest in our buildings if we don't know what total capacity we aim to be at within five years? So I strongly encourage you to think more holistically as you work on addressing the many issues that you are facing. I think it's essential for you to take all of the puzzle pieces into account before getting feedback from the community. A big comprehensive plan that entails potential solutions for East, um, other schools that are needing modernizations, the Career and Tech Center, right-sizing the system, feeder patterns, salary increases, you name it, all of it. Um, I think if the board continues to take each issue one by one, independent of one another, without consideration of the others, Simultaneously, it will hinder your ability to make good long-term decisions and potentially create additional issues in the future. Also, I would think the development of a good five-year plan would be essential in your search for attracting a new superintendent, that the new superintendent would understand the challenges of our system, but could rest assured that our board, closest to the details, constraints, and history here, has a plan and a vision that would provide solutions. Moving forward, my hope is that you would proactively develop a comprehensive plan with specific meaningful parameters prior to sending them out for public feedback into our communities. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Jennifer. 